I got trust issues because Nuke has a new video. I believe it's like, what, three hours old? Five hours. Well, when I first saw it, it was three hours. I just finished recording the bizarre video you guys watched last week. So now it's time for Nuke. And the title is Top 10 Scary Videos of WTF Is That. Since it does take a while for Nuke and Bizarre to upload videos, I want you to let me know in the comment section right now on who you want me to go watch first. Sir Spooks or Slapped Ham. Those two are channels that's basically in the same concept pool of Nuke and Bizarre. So which channel sounds more intriguing to you guys? Slapped Ham or Sir Spooked? Whatever is the most requests I see in the comment section is the channel I'll do. That'll be for next week. With that being said, let's get into the video. Top 10 scary videos of what the fuck is that? Concerned Hi. father Chris from Fargo, North Dakota says that his four-year-old son has been behaving very strangely. He says that over the last three or four days, the child has said that he just doesn't want to go in the bedroom because he says, quote, there is a monster in there. Obviously, Chris just dismissed these claims as a child's overactive imagination. Flashbang. But then, one night at around 2 a.m., the boy is fast asleep in bed when something happens that Chris and his wife simply can't explain. Something truly shocking. Gordon was with YouTube guy like no one was injured in this footage. You hear that, YouTube and TikTok? No one was injured. The boy cries out when he appears to get shoved out of bed by some invisible force. Chris says that his son cried out in shock, but thankfully, the boy was okay and completely unharmed. Chris says that the previous owner of their house passed away right in the living room, and he wonders if this tragic history has anything to do with what's happening to their son. Kind of ironic. Imagine dying in the living room. I thought you were supposed to be immortal in that room. Imagine dying in the living room, out of all place, living room, living room. But yeah, if it's a house I'm moving into and the ghost is actively targeting my son, what you do is there is a substance called Corona, not the disease. Uh, it's a beer or you go for Heineken. You just need one of those beer bottles that has the tube neck i'm not too sure of any other spirits like vodkas or i don't i don't know i don't drink stuff like that often i tend to know i mean i think some of the, the cheap malt liquors are in that shape too or maybe gray goose vodkas you know what vodka is more potent what you do is you get yourself a small bottle of vodka that has a little tube neck um uh, that okay i'm not gonna do that again that's um Fuck. You just take one of those bottles and get a cloth. With that cloth, you douse it with, uh, I would say get the crackhead lighter, which what I mean crackhead lighter, I'm talking about like one of these. These are crackhead lighters. The reason why is because um, you can manipulate it. And all you basically have to do is just break this cap off. The liquid you guys see inside of it, the liquid right here. Just damp that into a cloth. And if there's any residuals and it still lights. then you just take the rag and you combine it like you're doing the pen pineapple apple pen. And it should ignite when it ignites. You take the bottle and then you just toss it in the living room. So it purifies that room because if there's a spirit in it, it needs to burn. So that is how you do something called a Bolotov cocktail. With that being said, the Poppy Rick is not liable for any insurances or any damages to your property. It's just a recommendation and his opinion. It is not an advice. I'm not responsible nor obligated or have a liability to whatever actions you take. That's just my suggestion. Hold the door. 
A woman named Nadine has been experiencing Nadine. some very strange and unexplained oh. events in her home in Alabama. Sweet home. Big tail. Now, many viewers believe that they can hear a voice whisper something after the dog barks that sounds like, lay over there. But what do you hear, mm. if anything? As for Nadine, she says that she's a skeptic and doesn't really believe in ghosts at all. But then one night, she's looking after her two-year-old daughter, Blake, and something happens that freaks her right out. There's, there's a girl's name, Blake. You okay? There's Blake Lively. Do you want me to go open the door? Why? No? Okay. Oh, poor Balake. Okay, I, I'm i honestly freaking the f*** out and I don't know what to do. Just a couple minutes ago, I got up and I closed my door because she kept pointing to my room saying, Mommy, Mommy, someone's over there. And, and she was terrified. She, she, was, she was terrified, of course, freaking me out. So I went over there and she just said, No, Mommy, come here. Come here, Mommy. Sit, sit, Mommy. Don't go over there. And so I called the dog and I closed my door. And as you can see, Dude, she's still terrified. She's still terrified. She doesn't want me going over there. She doesn't want me open the door. I am, dude. I'm terrified. Blakey, mommy's gonna go open the door, okay? How, you mis how can you like mispronounce your own kid's name? I'll be it's right Balake. Back. It's okay. Bro, she's genuinely scared. I'll be right back. And now she's hiding her face. Dude, what the f <sighs> It's okay, baby. Okay, okay, okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, tell me I'm not. What do I do? Little two year old Blake is terrified of something in Nadine's bedroom. So much so that Nadine has to close the door to calm her daughter down. So could it be that little Blake saw a supernatural entity? Or just what was scaring her? Let me know what you think. Two options get rid of the house, get rid of Blake. That's your two options. Figure a place to put Blake at and just go on on your merry way or get rid of the house. Um, yeah, that's one thing I can recommend. Alone on the farm, Tasha D and her husband move into an 1840s farmhouse in rural upstate New York. The happy couple begins to renovate their new home, but soon Tasha begins to experience some very unsettling and unexplained events. These strange incidents only seem to occur when Tasha is home alone. So her husband is a bit skeptical. I mean, it's, it's an 18 so one day, a picture house. frame in the house inexplicably falls to the floor. Tasha grabs her phone and starts to record in hopes of proving to her husband that something's just not quite right. The ghost ball, like, why this bitch not in the kitchen? It's 1840. If it's a ghost from the 1840, he sees a girl home alone, not cleaning, not cooking. Shit, I'd be spazzing now too this is a farm area this is the time period when you wear those white t-shirts with you know that goes right here and they have a nickname for a certain reason it referenced you know why i oughta uh, with the honeymooners because yeah if you were in cooking dinner or cleaning the house it would be pal ryan akissa so you're home alone you're a woman and this most likely male ghost is not seeing you do anything yeah, of course you're gonna terrorize you. You're living in probably in a sexist house. In the old farmhouse. See, and you think I'm crazy. The first time I'm here by myself. Yeah, Haley, you're right. A Damn. On the floor, and it just. This is the same setup of my house. 
This is the same kind of setup with my home. <laughs> like my bedroom doors are the same as like way like that. Look at the floors. Have the same flooring. My walls the same as that color with the white white scape. Damn. Holy crap. Modern houses are so unique. First time I'm here by myself. Yeah, There's Haley, you're right. On okay. The floor and it just But things soon start to get even weirder because the family dogs begin to act really strange. Oh, uh, hell no. Why are you running? Like little another day and tasha is recording a can wait 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 yeah 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 motherfucker saw that too watch right here what there's a little mist there's a little mist mr guy you missed it i another didn't miss it and tasha is recording a candid video of her dogs to post to snapchat when this happens Look at them destroying the living room over one toy. A shadow on top left. <sighs> Silly. Right after posting the video to Snapchat, a worried friend reaches out to Tasha to warn her about what seems to be a strange shadow like figure moving up the wall right beside her dogs. Tasha has no idea what the creepy shadow could be, so she shares her story to TikTok, hoping to find answers. The video soon grabbed the attention of millions of concerned TikTok viewers who wonder if Tasha might have awakened a paranormal presence by renovating the 180 year old farmhouse. True. And then one night, just after midnight, someone rings Tasha's doorbell. When she checks the security camera, what she sees chills her to her core. dark shadow can be seen moving towards the outside deck chair and appears to just take a seat. It then gets up, moves away towards the right, and disappears. So did Tasha and her family move into a haunted farmhouse? Could the yeah. renovations be upsetting a lingering paranormal presence, causing it to act out? Let me know what you think. Yeah, I mean, 1840. Maybe the ghost probably didn't move on. The price is still tying it down in that location. And imagine seeing a house you probably built yourself. You worked so hard to construct it. And somebody just moves in and just replace everything you have done. It's common sense to do that now because making things more modern with electrical gadgets and all that kind of sorts. To us, it's common sense. But back then, it's supposed to be it's supposed to be built to last things built in the past they were made to last forever that's just how they crafted a whole bunch of stuff which is true some things have lasted for many millenniums pyramids and so on and coliseums and like in rome you build a house by hand you want it to be the way you envisioned it and somebody else moves in and then just completely takes away everything you've done of course you'd be pissed off and again, like I said in the beginning, jokingly, obviously I'm joking, but it could be the same thing. This is different times, different times in the 1800s, specifically women were looked at as property. You're a woman by yourself at home and he probably sees you as a regular piece of property. That's how some men looked at women back in the past. You needed to make him a sandwich and other stuff you probably burnt your husband's steak and he's upset 
all of that could be true. Because that's just how it was back in the 18 and early 1900s. Imaginary friend. A woman from Oregon says that her young daughter claims that there is something living in their basement, hiding in the storage area just underneath the stairs. At first, of course, the mother dismisses these claims, just thinking it's the little girl's overactive imagination. But that same day, after hearing something strange coming from the basement, the mom decides to check the footage from their security camera. Oh yeah. What she sees chills her to her core. You know, the, the cartoon show Foster Home with Imaginary Friends. For her, it's just Foster Home. My kids saying shit like that, Foster Home. Did you see it? Yes, yeah, a hand. A small pale hand can be seen reaching out from under the stairs before just disappearing. Even creepier, both the child and the family cat seem to spot this bizarre apparition. The little girl even seems to wave at something that we can't see. Now, unfortunately, this video was shared to the internet without a direct source, so we'll probably never know just what happened here. Why is she doing like a, like a gang side? Like she's, she's doing like something like that. Like, I don't, I don't know. She, she repping something. But again, Foster Home Imaginary Friends, either you put that ghost into the Foster Home of Imaginary Friends or you take the kid and put her in foster care. What walks in the woods? Bears, user, no recognition deers, 1998 elk, says that this video was caught on a trail cam Sasquatch, 20 miles out into the Idaho woods in the middle of nowhere. Chipmunks. Now, there is no reason that anyone would be this far out in these isolated woods at this time of night. Skinwalker. So what is this? This <laughs> is Vince McMahon. That was Vince, bro. That's Vince McMahon. What are you talking about? That's Vince. You ever seen Vince McMahon walk? That was Vince McMahon. That was Vince Mc. Was he wearing a skirt? Someone or something walks past a forest trail cam at 4:37 in the morning, in the middle of the woods, in the middle of nowhere. Why is there a camera Curious there? Right nowhere. Point out that this strange humanoid figure just looks kind of off. They say it's perhaps not even human at all, as it seems to have very pale skin, thin, frail arms, and a long neck. Now, is this a very lost and very strange person wandering around the remote woods of Idaho, or is it something else? I leave that for you to decide. Uh, you guys talk about disformities like it's uncommon, but you have people like Ricky Burick that's alive and travels about. It could be somebody who is badly disformed or partially disformed because unfortunately, Ricky Burick's case, he can't really walk. As you can see, his body and how everything gets built, he, you know, he could, he's mobile. He kind of is like a, Call of Duty zombie crawler when he travels about in his own home or whatever. But most of his traveling is with his wheelchair or the motor chair. But he's still breathing. He's still fine. He's still living life to the fullest. Same concept. Disformities in people. It's not as uncommon as you think. Maybe this person is doing a nightly or morning routine walk. And it's those people like it is from scary movie, like with the person who has his good hand. Same concept. Could be that. I just explained it. Boom. Lurking in the darkness. Now, this next extremely popular video was suggested so much, probably close to a thousand times. There was really no choice but to feature it here on Nuke's Top 5. Damn. So... Dustin Frazier says that he works the night shift at an allegedly haunted hotel in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. One night, Dustin is recording a Snapchat video to send to his friend when something happens that makes his blood run cold. We're going to edit this. Got to work and I feel like, ugh, like all day today, I felt bad. Honestly, it's less like a little bit. I felt bad. 
and oh wait I, don't know. I just like I feel like I need to go to the doctor but like I'm constantly just like nauseous and I don't really know why like I have tried to like take medicine for it and stuff but I I don't know it doesn't seem like it really does anything um but if you wanted to swing by um and say hey like you could oh i can't see i also hate that they always keep this room so dark like come on now bro but anyways bizarre yeah, if you wanted to swing by and say hey then you know you could but yeah i'm just chilling throughout the video strange Bizarre cut so much crucial things. Brother. I thought I was going to have to edit this part out a lot. Like, I was going to just take the story out. That's a lot. And that face was way more defined compared to the other channels. That was way more defined. Holy hell. Voices and whispering can be heard. I felt bad. Honestly, it's less like a little bit I'd to like take does anything. Um, and I also hate that they always keep this room so fucking dark. Like, come on now. And then the figure right there. Greatest of all, something can be seen standing in the yeah. shadows just behind Dustin. Not once, but twice. Some dark figure with a distorted skeletal face. Now, at the time I'm recording this story, this video has gained a massive audience of over 19 million viewers, making it the most popular and most suggested video. But is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Holy damn. We need scary videos. So if you see a scary video that you think would be great on the top five, email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Caught on camera. And Freddy okay. and Justin says that he and his family recently bought and moved into a historic 1800s terrace house in London, England. Bought and moved into a historic 1800s terrace house in London, England. But during renovations, Justin says his doorbell security camera caught something really creepy. Hiding behind his car. Around 10 p.m. at night, someone or something can be seen quickly taking a peek at Justin's front door. Then whoever or whatever it is appears to walk past the car in the driveway before disappearing off camera. Now with the house's 200 year history, Justin is worried that his renovations might have triggered some paranormal presence to act out. But worried Reddit viewers warn Justin that he might be dealing with something even scarier. A burglar. A stranger that is scoping out his house for unknown reasons. So is this a ghost? Or is this a very real and potentially dangerous person? You decide. Answer? Second Amendment. Second Amendment. Just... This is fake. This is, this is plastic. Okay. YouTube, TikTok, YouTube, TikTok. This is fake. All you have to do. Ow. Bitch. Ow. All you have to do. Teach them the second amendment right. Explain to them in very great detail. Okay. Scope my house, motherfucker. You think I'll scope you with mouthwash frozen in fear in this creepy video a woman begins recording when her dog refuses to come back inside their house the dog seems frozen in place and refuses to even look back at his owner as she calls to him mm -mm. nigel what are you doing oh that's attack mode nigel Well, that's that's defensive before attack.
<laughs> the dog appears to be frozen in fear as it stares at something behind a shed in their backyard. When the woman slowly looks around the corner, her heart almost stops as she sees two creepy glowing eyes staring right back at her. Now nope. the video abruptly ends here and was reposted to the internet by social media outlets that just don't bother to credit the source. So with no I explanation, it's I hard to say exactly what's going on here. But the dog's freaked out reaction is strange. So just what do you think this dog is seeing looking back from the darkness? I'm pretty sure when you record, like for example, if I'm on my cellular device, my mobile, and I click on my camera app, and I'm going on a video, I'm pretty sure I could just hit one button. Wow. So simple. Huh. I just stared at my dog and all you gotta do is just two clicks and my flash comes on. Wow. Technology is so advanced, guys. Two buttons. So wait, you're telling me with my phone, I could also do. Okay, Google. Lumos. Okay, Google. Knox. Okay, Google. Lumos. Okay, Google. Knox. So as I'm recording, if I'm trying to steady my hand, I could just whisper it. Okay, Google. Lumos. See how simple life could be? Curse. Could be a raccoon. A young woman in Japan claims that her grandmother kept a cursed photo album locked in one of her cupboards. The woman believes that her grandmother might have dabbled in dark magic and that the cursed photo album and her grandmother's strange rituals might have led to her grandfather's strange unexplained death 12 years earlier. Mm -hmm. Her grandfather mm -hmm. allegedly took his own life inside the home, but the circumstances were very suspicious. The young woman says that for her part, she once viewed the cursed album herself, but that she became seriously ill immediately afterwards. Well, that's mode. That's mode. It's like a ritual, like a seance. Since then, the young woman's grandmother has passed away but she is still afraid of the home and the creepy photo album. She asked anonymous paranormal investigator Kaneko to remove and destroy the album, warning him that everyone who views the photo album becomes ill and that some of her family even believes that the cursed album can possess the viewer. Mm. So Kaneko explores the old abandoned home and finds the album, but he too starts to become ill and is forced to quickly leave the house leaving behind both his phone and camera as he dashes out. No. YouTube channel Fourth Wall is contacted and asked Fourth to retrieve Wall, his equipment okay. and analyze the footage. What they find is downright chilling. I know. Recovered footage from a phone that was used as a static camera shows a portrait of the woman's late grandfather just falling to the floor for unknown reasons. But that's not all. Because Kaneko has actually recorded the moment he found and looked through the cursed photo album on camera. Something happens that Kaneko claims that he doesn't remember at all. Uh oh. Something terrifying. No, 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 no. no. Looking at that door, no.
I don't want to look. I don't want to look. Three. That's just like crunchy. Oh, he's blurring it purposely. Oh, never mind. He's like, fuck yeah. Y'all getting haunted too. Bro. Nope. 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 Did you see it? Kaneko hears a strange sound coming from somewhere inside the house. But when he turns to look, someone can be seen kneeling behind the glass of a sliding door. But Kaneko says there was no one else inside that house with him. After analyzing the footage, YouTube channel Fourth Wall believes that the woman's grandmother might have been responsible for her grandfather's death and that his spirit is unable to move on. Mm. Watcher in the woods. YouTuber Creepy Outdoors frequently sets out to explore and spend the night deep in the wilderness of Canada. On one of these trips, he sets up camp just like any other night okay. and scouts through the woods with a flashlight and a GoPro camera. But this time, something very unexpected happens and things take a creepy turn. I need to get out of here. Oh boy. Ooh. Okay. That was fing creepy. I need to get out of here. You're walking slowly, the brother. I think he hears movement in the remote woods, so he cuts his flashlight so he can't be seen. But the joke is on him, because just then, a high pitched voice can be heard calling out. I see you. Oh, f oh, hi. Now he's feeling a little on edge and wondering if there might be someone or something stalking him in the dark woods. Duh. He decides to just quickly head back to the safety of his camp. The experienced explorer says this is the scariest sound he's ever heard in the woods. Even though he was somewhere deep in the Canadian wilderness and completely removed from any towns or cities, he says that he hopes that the voice belonged to just a fellow camper having a laugh. You can watch this entire video over on the YouTube channel, Creepy Outdoors. I will say this a thousand times. Things are not like how it used to be. Camping was something done a little bit more often back in the days compared to now. We have a little bit more. I don't know the crimes. I don't know the crime rates. I don't know how things are done. Back then, I remember hitchhikers. 
thumbs up and then to get in the car to take you to a location or they're headed the same direction or, or they would just drop you off before they have to go to the part where they're at whatever but you see a lot in the movies that come from the 60s 70s and 80s especially in horror movies it was kind of common practice to hitchhike now you can't because trafficking is exponentially high and especially with all these SA things happening and trafficking happening and so many times men being creeps obviously things in the past things may have have happened that was never reported or whatever but it was still common practice and still kind of acceptable for hitchhiking camping in the past could also have been a thing where it was fine and people kind of mind their own business now people in this generation don't know how to mind their fucking business they just don't you have these karens going around seeing a group of black people just having a good time picnicking at a beach or at a park playing basketball just anything selling lemonade it could be anything barbecuing skateboarding you have all these different types of activities that we've done growing up and you have these karens that feel like they're just as warriors and they just interject themselves like they have a purpose was their only purpose is to die that's it their purpose is to die they are miserable they make other people miserable simple as that point of this little rant people just want to be in people's business so much that you can't be left alone anymore people are too curious people don't leave you alone people interject themselves into other people's situations or lies because they feel entitled to and especially at camping some people are just crazy and just they just want to fuck with you because they're bored or they're evil and so much more you would never catch me camping with my lonesome i will have a group and again my group will know the second amendment that's all i can say that's the end of the video until next time guys as always i love your faces and yeah i'm out peace